So, for our viewers who are not familiar with the color revolutions in Eastern Europe, state as clearly as you can what you think is going on right now in this election. What's the end game for Democrats? Yes, thank you for having me. Uh, many have described the actions taken against Trump as a coup. And this is certainly correct, but it's a little bit general and vague. What's unfolding before our eyes is a very specific type of coup called the color revolution. It's a regime change model favored by many in our national security apparatus, particularly against Eastern European countries to overthrow target regimes that they don't like. One model, which is not the color revolution model, is purely sending a bunch of troops into a country and removing by military force a leader you don't like. That's like the Iraq model. Right. The color revolution model is a little bit more delicate and subtle. It has several characteristics, but the chief characteristics of it is a combination of an engineered contested elections scenario combined with massive mobilized protests, which they call as a term of art, peaceful protests, and acts of civil disobedience. If that sounds familiar, it gets even better. It's not only the same strategies and tactics used against Trump that's used against Eastern European dictators that our national security apparatus doesn't like. It's literally the same people who are color revolution professionals who have a long history of using these same tactics against foreign leaders they don't like to use against democratically elected President Donald Trump. It's the same people using the very same playbook. Now, I'd like to talk about one of the key figures in this operation, a nexus point, not only between color revolutions overseas and the color revolution against Trump, but a nexus point between lawfare and mass mobilization and so-called peaceful protests. This is a man by the name of Norm Eisen. Norm Eisen is a key legal hatchet man, Democrat operative, former Obama ethics czar, believe it or not. And he is also a key architect of nearly every effort to censor, sue, impeach, and overthrow the president. He is the author of, in fact, a color revolution playbook, literally called the playbook. And one of the items he calls for in his playbook to overthrow regimes overseas he doesn't like is engineering election fraud scenarios, using election fraud to engineer mass protests to question le the legitimacy of the target leader. Norm Eisen has a long and checkered history going all the be way back to his days at Crew, which is a lawfare arm. He's been behind over 180 lawsuits against Trump. He authored 10 articles of impeachment before the president's phone call was even made. He was special counsel to the Democrats for the impeachment process. He was literally involved in every aspect of this color revolution against Trump. His latest act, and perhaps his greatest act coming up, is to use lawfare in order to overturn the 2020 election using various legal theories, principally yep. his theory about Nor Norm Eisen. Remember the name. I'm sorry, Darren, we're out of time. I appreciate that. We'll be right back.